ready down there. Good evening. Uh, on behalf of the Abingdon uh, Virginia Town Council, I'd like to welcome everyone to our January 2015 uh, meeting. Uh, a couple things I'll point out as we get started, one of which is that uh, prior to each meeting, our council members receive a, a variety of materials to help us prepare for the issues that will be coming before us. A copy of those documents is on the table over here to my left. You're more than welcome to have a look at that if you uh, wish to. Also, we would ask at this time if you have uh, cell phones that you turn them off, put them on the stun mode, something like that, to, uh, uh, so we won't be disturbed during uh, the course of the meeting. I will point out uh, that there will be uh, uh, several opportunities this evening to address the council. Uh, first of all, we will be having a public hearing a little uh, further into this meeting uh, where we will discuss a specific issue and there will be an opportunity for people to come forward and talk to us about that issue. And then later on during the course of the meeting, uh, in the, uh, a little bit further on, there will be a place where we will have uh, received comments from the public if there are issues that you wish to bring before our attention uh, that we'll be able to address at that time. Uh, that being said, I will ask our clerk if she'll call the roll, please. Ms. Deering? Here. Uh, Mr. Howard? Here. Mr. Humphreys? Here. Mrs. Lowe? Here. And Mayor Morgan? Here. And let the record reflect that all five council <coughs> members are present. Thank you very much. And I believe uh, Chief Tony Sullivan is going to lead us in the Pledge of Relations, if all would stand. <coughs> Thank you. <clears throat> Council, we have two sets of minutes for our consideration. We have the December 1st, 2014 uh, work session minutes as well as the uh, regular meeting minutes from that same date. Uh, are there any corrections or additions that need to be noted? Uh, hearing none, I'll ask if uh, there is a motion regarding this. I will go ahead and move that we approve both sets of minutes. Okay. Is there a second? Second. Uh, we have a motion and a second to approve both sets of minutes as presented. Any further comment? Hearing none, Ms. Rosenbaum, if you'll call the roll, please. Uh, Mrs. During? Aye. Mr. Howard? Aye. Mr. Humphreys? Aye. Mrs. Lowe? Aye. And Mayor Morgan? Aye. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Uh, Kelly, I think I'll turn the next item over to you. Uh, yes, Mr. Mayor, members of council, members of the public, um, it's very, I'm very pleased tonight to be able to recognize four employees that work for the town of Abingdon. It's always a pleasure to be able to recognize employees for their faithful and dedicated service to the town of Abingdon. The first two that I'd like to recognize tonight, and um, I would like for them to come forward after I call their names, but it's sort of a bittersweet moment for the town of Abingdon because they have, they have been really dedicated and loyal employees for the town of Abingdon for many years, and they have now decided to end their uh, careers with the town of Abingdon <coughs> by retiring. And I, I just want to say before I call them up here that I wish them uh, the, the very best in retirement. I've thoroughly enjoyed having them here working for the town of Abingdon, and they've done an excellent job in their years with, with the town of Abingdon. Um, the first is uh, Shirley Atkins. Shirley, if you'll, if you'll come up, and I'll come down and join you in just a minute. And Shirley um, has worked with our finance department for 19 and a half years, and I'm just going to go ahead and say it. We might as well say 20. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Shirley is uh, a lady that you come in the front doors of the town hall, and you always see her. She's she's always got a good expression on her face, and very pleasant to deal with uh, with both the staff and and the public. And we're very grateful for um, what you've done for the town of Abingdon. So, Shirley, on behalf of, of the town staff and the town council, I'd like to present you with a seal of the town of Abingdon, a clock, and a nice uh, card with something in it signed by <laughs> All right. 
So please join me. Trying to get out of the way. Let's, let's get one over here. Right over here. Margaret at the desk up there very often and she's always got a, a nice smile on her face and she's very helpful to anybody that walks through the doors and uh, I know that Margaret's got some plans to uh, take a cruise so you're just going to cruise on out of here right? <laughs> uh, but Margaret I want to thank you on behalf of, of the town staff and, and town council for all that you've done for the town of Abingdon and I wish you the best in your retirement and in trying to keep your husband back there under control. <laughs> <laughs> so if you'll come forward, please. Please join me. serving for the town of Abingdon. Uh, the first of those employees is um, C.J. McLaughlin. C.J., if you'll come up. Um, C.J. is uh, with the Abingdon Police Department. He's also the assistant fire chief with the Abingdon Fire Department. And he's also the code enforcement officer for the town of Abingdon. So a man that wears many hats. And C.J. has now been with us for... 10 years. So, CJ, I'd like to present you with a nice plaque and a 10 year service pin, please. And he's also a volunteer fireman. Right? Oh, and I'll say this, he doesn't look old enough to have been here for 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> He's still going to wear the hat of dad, so that's all right. He's still on the bubble. He's having a baby. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
And uh, last but not least, it's, it's my privilege to recognize somebody uh, who has been here for 20 years with the Whoa. town of Abner, wow. Mr. Wow. Wow. Hey. Hey. Abner. Did you, did you, did that long or not that long enough? <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's saying a lot when you put in 20 years of service and you're still as young as James is. And yeah. he, he started here very young and he's, he's decided that he likes it here. But uh, James works at the Coombs uh, Recreation Center. He's been extremely active in, in helping with the town events throughout town over the years and also with our sports events that we have going on. We have wonderful programs up, up there and wonderful events going on all over town. And James has contributed greatly to those things. So, James, I want to congratulate you and thank you for all that you've done over the course of the past 20 years. Eisenhower there. I'm going to introduce uh, this next uh, uh, event and uh, or next item on our agenda and I'll ask you to give us some background information on it uh, as well. But we have for our consideration this evening and we will in a few minutes have a public hearing regarding the donation of property. And this evening the council will receive comments from the public regarding a deed of gift of a portion of property from Amy Michael Castle and Violet Cecilia Castle Ryerson to the town of Abingdon, Harrison Magisterial District, Washington County, Virginia, and more particularly designated as a part or portion of tax map number uh, 002-2-9, which is located on Weiss Mill Road in Clark Street in the town of Abingdon, Virginia. Ms. Eisenhower, would you enlighten us on this, please? Well, some of it will be repetitive, Mr. Mayor, but Mr. Mayor, Honorable Council, this matter is regarding the consideration of the acceptance by the town of a parcel of land at the corner of White's Mill Road and Clark Street. The parcel consists of 0.162 acres with several old utility buildings, which the plans for which will probably de bleed demolition so that the square footage will enhance the visual appearance and the safety interest of the existing streets and area in general. A successful public hearing was held on this matter on December 22nd, 2014, before the Town of Avenue and Planning Commission. The Commission voted unanimously to recommend that the Council accept the property conveyance. We have an executed plat and draft a deed of gift prepared for the conveyance. Property, be, property will be conveyed via deed of gift from Amy Castle Stringer and Violet Castle Rearson and subject to a final clear title search. The legal department recommends that the council accept this conveyance contingent upon the considerations mentioned. Okay, so again we have uh, a piece of property that is located on the uh, corner of White's Mill Road and uh, I believe it's Clark, Clark Street. Street. Yes. And uh, they are proposing to uh, donate this property to the town of Abingdon. They are. And again, the Planning Commission is the first step along the way and they've had a public hearing and uh, the uh, uh, Planning Commission recommended uh, that we accept this donation. They did. Uh, do we, uh, members of the Planning Commission, were there any public comments or uh, anything at that time before the Planning Commission? Everything was uh, favorable, unanimous decision of the Planning Commission to move forward. Okay. And there was no one who spoke in opposition. Of it. Very good, sir. Okay. Does anyone have any questions of Ms. Eisenhower before we proceed here? Okay. Um, at this time, I will declare the public hearing to be open. If there is anyone who wishes to uh, come forward at the present time and address the council regarding this specific matter, you're more than welcome to do so at the present time. Again, uh, the public hearing is open and uh, we are receptive to, uh, to any public comment regarding this property. 
It does not appear that anyone wishes to address the uh, council regarding this uh, uh, proposed donation of property of the town of Abingdon. I will therefore declare the public hearing to be closed. Uh, I gather we have a recommendation, uh, uh, Mr. Kelly, that we accept this donation. Uh, Mr. Mayor, members of council, I would, um, as Ms. Eisenhower indicated, the one exception would be subject to clear title without any liens or encumbrances on the property, and I would make a recommendation that the council authorize me to accept uh, the property when we have had full title examination uh, of the property and there appears to be no liens or encumbrances on the property. Okay. Well, would a member of council care to make a motion to that effect? I'll move that we accept Greg's, uh, the town manager's recommendation that uh, clearance of the title and, and, and you know, that there are new liens against the property that we accept, allow you to do what's necessary to accept this donation. Okay. Is there a second? I'll second it. Okay. Uh, we have a motion and a second to, uh, uh, based on the recommendation of our town manager to allow him to uh, accept this uh, subject to the appropriate uh, title searches and clearances. Is there any further uh, comments or questions about this matter? Mr. Mayor, I would like to uh, comment that I do not stand to gain any money from this, but these people are related to me, and just because of that I would like to abstain from the vote. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, I would also ask, uh, you know, Mr. Kelly, as a point of uh, reference uh, for, uh, for me, is this an action that can be accomplished on one reading, or is it re will it require a second reading at the, in the future? Uh, no, sir. I believe it could be um, accepted on first reading just to authorize me to accept the property. Okay. All right. And again, we have a motion and a second to uh, uh, allow Mr. Kelly to accept the property on behalf of the town subject to the uh, uh, clearances that he described further. Any other comments or questions? Hearing none, I'll ask our clerk to call the roll, please. Mrs. Deering? Aye. Mr. Howard? Aye. Mr. Humphreys? Aye. Mrs. Lowe? Abstain. And Mayor Morgan? Aye. Okay. Thank you very much. We do appreciate that. And, th and thank you for the uh, you folks for the uh, for the donation. It's uh, uh, welcome, and hopefully it'll be uh, put to good public use. All right. At the uh, we have no second readings of ordinances tonight or consideration of any bids. Uh, that will bring us uh, to uh, Mr. Kelly. Uh, if you'll take this, please. Uh, consideration of the addition of Mr. Chuck Banner, who is uh, currently our director of finance, uh, to become the third signatory on our town banking accounts. Uh, yes, Mr. Mayor, members of council, um, as uh, has been our policy with the town of Abingdon, uh, we do require two signatures on our checking account. Currently, it is uh, my signature as the interim treasurer and the town manager, as well as uh, Miss uh, Cecile Rosenbaum as the interim uh, <coughs> assistant town manager. We now have Chuck Banner, who is the town treasurer for the town of Abingdon, and uh, the three of us have gotten together and, and talked, and, and we are wanting to enact some new internal policies that further safeguard the town. And we're not asking that the checks have three signatures on every check, but we are asking that all three of us be authorized to sign the checks. And that way, if uh, one of us is on leave of absence or vacation, the other two will be present in order to be able to carry that out. And I might also add that one of the things we're going to try to put in motion um, is, is that um, uh, instead of having all checks uh, machine written uh, or electronically written, um, we're going to have one hard signature of those two signatures on all of the checks. Mm -hmm just as a matter of safeguard. And um, I've been very pleased with what Chuck's uh, done. And um, ultimately, um, we, we'll probably bring something else back before council. But right now, I'd just like for you all to authorize him to be on all of the town's accounts with me and Ms. Rosenbaum. All right, thank you. Well, I'll entertain a motion regarding this matter. I move that we authorize Mr. Chuck Banner, Director of Finance, to be a third signature on the town banking accounts. I'll second that. All right. Again, we have a motion and a second to authorize Mr. Chuck Banner to be uh, an additional or third uh, 
potential signator on the uh, town's uh, checks. Any further discussion on this matter? Again, we have a motion and a second. Uh, I'll ask our clerk, Ms. Rosenbaum, to call uh, the roll, please. Uh, Ms. Stirring? Aye. Mr. Howard? Aye. Mr. Humphreys? Aye. Mrs. Lowe? Aye. And Mayor Morgan? Aye. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Um, our next item is a consideration of the establishment of an emergency uh, management committee. And I thank Mr. John McCormick, our fire chief, and Mr. C.J. McLaughlin, the man of many hats, uh, uh, are going to uh, be speaking with us at, uh, regarding this. Mr. Mayor, members of council, uh, I'm John McCormick, from the fire chief. Uh, what we're wanting to do is establish this EMS committee with all the, the fire department, police department, life-saving crew, and the emergency management director uh, with the Washington County to be on this committee to uh, better prepare the town in case of an emergency uh, to pre-plan and uh, of anything that could happen in the line of an emergency in the town. And this is what we're doing this committee to, and anything you all would like to add to make this committee work in that way. All righty. Uh, I know we're very pleased to see this move forward. Uh, public safety uh, uh, is arguably our first responsibility as a, uh, uh, as a council to uh, provide for. I see that uh, you have the recommendations of uh, several, uh, I guess we might describe these as initial members yes. who uh, serve on uh, forming up the committee. Uh, there was a suggestion that uh, both of you gentlemen be on there. Also, Mr. Tony Sullivan from the Chief of Police, Mr. Bob Howard, uh, who was uh, both a council member and a long-term member of the Abingdon, Virginia uh, Fire Department, Mr. Mike Mason from the County Life uh, Saving uh, Crew, and Ms. Pokey Harris, who is our County Emergency Services Coordinator. I have somewhat the idea that this would be an initial group, that there might be yes. some citizen appointments later. No, that could be, yes. No. We'll get with this committee first and see, see where we want to go from there. Okay. Yes. Do you have a thought of how you might proceed on this or what would be your next step? Uh, first, just to contact those members of the committee, have an initial meeting, uh, put out the plan for what we want to see the committee do, uh, where, where we want to go with it. Okay. All right. And I'll ask a point of reference, uh, perhaps, of Mr. Kelly, uh, which is, again, uh, uh, we have a recommendation to uh, uh, establish an emergency management committee. Would this be described initially as uh, an ad hoc or an advisory committee or uh, not something that is necessarily initially uh, created by ordinance? Would that be? Uh, right. I think it would simply be an advisory committee. Um, the town falls within the scope of the county's emergency management plan, so this would just be an advisory committee on behalf of the town. Okay. All right. Do, uh, does anyone have questions of these gentlemen at the moment? I just have one. Mr. Yes, sir. Or a couple, maybe. Okay. <coughs> so, first of all, forgive me for not being there. It's the first, the only meeting I'm in the midst of the uh, of our work session since I'm on the council. But that was not a good one to miss. But uh, and did you did you give any thought, or did you consider having somebody maybe from the hospital, uh, from Johnson Memorial, on that committee also? Somebody that maybe handled emergency room, you know, protocols and things like that. We, we didn't initially. That would be a good idea. Uh, initially, the, we had some kind of a committee like this before I was the fire chief, and uh, that's where the town sirens and things like that came from, out, out of that committee. <clears throat> and uh, we just basically used those people that were on that committee before to, to be the initial members. Right. You know, I was just thinking of, you know, if something major happened, you did triage and different things that you'd have to have. Right, and, and that was part of the reason. For having the last, uh, yeah. for having the the captain of the Washington County Life Saving Crew, that was part of that also, and they, they, he deals with them more than we do. That's if they may. That's also something that that's also something that the county as a whole was working as far as mass casualty incident as far as that goes, and it's a, a action item from uh, Miss Harris as well to work on. That's the drill that was done at the airport. That's all part of that. If we need to bring somebody in from the hospital, we most certainly will at that point when we, we talk about those things. Oh, those are things that we can add right. as we go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, others? I think it's a long time coming, and I think you all are moving forward in a positive manner. Yeah, we're very glad to see it. I, I know there are, there are a number of uh, 
Well, let me say first of all, and I believe I can speak quite well for the council for this, uh, that we are very appreciative of the work that uh, first uh, that our fire department and police department and emergency uh, uh, our rescue squad and other emergency uh, responders provide. Uh, you folks have had some challenging situations over the last couple of years, not the least of which was the tornado that came through town. Uh, we have some other fires and things that have happened here, and uh, uh, those things were handled in a very professional way, uh, but we always strive uh, to do better, to have better coordination, and, uh, and again, as you're noting, planning uh, for those events ahead of time. We're certainly conscious uh, because of you know recent events in Lynchburg and in Withville where there have been train derailments, uh, that given the uh, train uh, uh, running through the length of our town, that it is a matter that we need to be giving consideration to and preparing to. And we're certainly appreciative uh, that uh, uh, you folks are uh, moving forward and, uh, and Mr. Howard has expressed a strong desire to be involved in this process as well and to uh, see it as a priority of, uh, of our community. But uh, thank you for your interest and willingness uh, to do that. Council, again, we have a recommendation that we establish an emergency management advisory committee. <clears throat> and again, the folks who are recommended as initial members of this uh, uh, to sort of perhaps start the process moving are Mr. John McCormick, uh, the fire chief uh, at the present time, Mr. C.J. McLaughlin, who is assistant fire chief and uh, actively involved in our police department uh, as well. And somewhat of a, um, I don't know if I should call you an expert or not on uh, that type of communication, but you're actively involved in the Thanks. town's communication systems. Uh, Mr. Tony Sullivan, our Chief of Police. Uh, again, Mr. Howard, a council member and representative and active member of the Fire Department. And Mr. Mike Mason from the Washington County Life Saving Crew. And Ms. Pokey Harris, our County Emergency Services Coordinator. Uh, I'll entertain a motion regarding this matter. Mr. Mayor, I move that we um, approve the establishment of an emergency management committee made up of John McCormick, C.J. McLaughlin, Tony Sullivan, Bob Howard, Mike Mason, and Pokey Harris. Is there a second? Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second uh, to establish the committee and make the appointments that were listed. Is there any further discussion or questions that we have about this? Mr. Kelly? Uh, uh, yes, Ms. Mr. Mayor, just to go back with what you asked me about uh, whether an ordinance would be required, it would not be at this time, but mm -hmm. I think at some point in time after this gets formalized and rules and regulations are set forth within the committee itself, um, it is probably something that we would likely bring back before the council to to perhaps establish it by ordinance at that point in time, but it's not necessary at this point in time. Right, and, and again, there would be an opportunity, I think, for citizen uh, uh, members of, uh, of this type of committee as well. Okay, thank you. We have a motion and a second uh, that I've outlined. Is there any further discussion? I would just like to say that uh, at that work session, we talked about an opportunity for training for the council at yes. large. And uh, I'd like to reiterate that I'd be very interested in seeing you involving us in that educational okay. process. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Others? I would like to say something, but it's really not about this committee. It's about the fire department and the, and the life saving crew and other emergency management groups within the town and the county. We couldn't do without them. No. You know, they, they, I, I had the fire hydrant, one of the fire hydrants is in my yard and they were there last week working on a, a house fire that, that uh, they worked tirelessly. They were, they were, they were there, they came back. They advised the, the people whose home that they lost, and we just couldn't do without them. Thank you. And I'm embarrassed to say that I had to have the uh, life-saving crew haul me to the emergency room in an ambulance not too long ago. <laughs> and, and it happens to the best of us. You you live here long enough, you're going to need them. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I'm very appreciative of what was done for me. We need to vote. All righty. Any, any, any further comments? <laughs> Uh, hearing none, I'll ask our clerk to call the roll, please. Mrs. Jerry? Aye. Mr. Howard? Aye. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Mrs. Lowe? Aye. Mayor Morgan? 
Uh, aye. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we have no resolutions to consider this evening, uh, uh, but that brings us to matters not on the agenda. And I'm willing to bet there might be somebody uh, uh, here tonight who may have an item that they'd like to bring before the uh, council's attention. And at this time, we're uh, if someone has something that they wish to talk with us about or a uh, matter of concern, you're welcome to come forward at the present time. We would ask that you identify yourself and state your uh, address for the record. Good evening, Mr. Mayor. Good evening. Council members. Good evening. My name is Lindsay Holman. I reside at 17173 Stella Drive, Abingdon, Virginia. What was that again, please? 17173 Stella Drive, okay. Abingdon, Virginia. And I'm here tonight representing and speaking on behalf of the Cruising Classics Car Club of Abingdon, Virginia. We are a nonprofit organization that donates all but our operating budget to local charities in need throughout our region. Our car club has no paid employees or board members. We are here tonight to request a waiver of the special permit fee for a car show to be held on Main Street on May 30th, 2015. Our 2014 car show on Main Street brought in 201 classic, restored, antique, hot, and hot rod vehicles along with motorcycles into the historic district of downtown Abingdon, as well as countless amounts of spectator, spectators roaming down Main Street enjoying pieces of history that fits in with our thriving downtown historical district. There were many participants that attended the show from our bordering states of Kentucky, North Carolina, and Tennessee. Main, Main Street restaurants Owners expressed to us that their businesses that their business from this night was more, much more than usual. Many had up to a 45 minute wait and said that they sold out of many menu items. Bonefire actually expressed to us that this event compared to Plum Alley Day, the business that re they received from that day. We believe that by working with the town on this event, we can attract many more participants and spectators into our town and help boost our local businesses and help promote this historic district of Abingdon. Surrounding areas are picking up on these type of events. For example, Bristol allows the Antique Automobile Club of America free access to State Street for a car show and encourages local businesses to remain open after the regular business hours. Our car club was also asked to attend the Virginia Highlands Festival kickoff party to help promote the Route 66 theme this past year, which many of our club members attended to help kick that off. The car club members spend many hours and miles attending events and shows leading up to this event to promote the show as well as our town. By waiving the special permit fee, our club will be able to raise more funds at, the, at this event, which is our largest of the year, to donate to local charities in need at the end of the year. At this time, I'd like to give each of you a letter from the charity that we supported this past year. We were able to donate $1,000. And twenty-five dollars to an organization at EB Stanley Middle School, which sends home backpack um, meals for kids on the weekends that um, they might not have meals or, or something low-income families. So I'm going to hand each of you one of these, and we also have pictures from our event last year to show how many people were in attendance and our participants, the cars that were brought in, as long as let as well as letters from businesses around Main Street and on Main Street, um, giving us their support. question or two. Uh, uh, for starters, how much is the fee that uh, we've quoted you, your organization? It's roughly $800, give or take. All right. Okay. 
Okay. So, Mr. Mayor, it's based on uh, the number of employees from the town of Avenue Police, <coughs> Public Works, the use of barricades, those types of things that are calculated into the, uh, the actual amount of the fee that will vary from group to group. Okay. How many members do you have here? Are all your members local? Uh, yes, well, they're within the area. Okay. Not all of them are in Avondon. How big is the 12 membership? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mayor, yes, I'm mm -hmm. Chip McCall. I'm Abdon, or, uh, president of Cruising Classes Car Club. I started this back in about 2007. Uh, got away from it for a few years, got back last fall. There was originally 19 members uh, last fall. Um, we are now at 81 members. Um, they're all in the area um, from all the bordering, bordering states, I guess. Um, we're very thankful that we have a lovely town that we do. And we're very thankful that we have a great place to, to meet every Saturday night. We go from May, the 1st of May, to the end of October. And we try to do that every Saturday night. Can you uh, meet in Avondale? Yes, ma'am. It's down at Magic Mart parking lot. So we're trying to bring revenue into the town of Abingdon. And all these little businesses, big businesses, we're trying to make them have a little bit of extra money. Um, so we're all gaining for, from it. And in the big picture, we're like we're a nonprofit. And we are trying to raise money to help kids or something that we believe in. And we'd like to ask you, um, maybe even have the uh, the one in May, the end of May, the car show on downtown. Maybe also have one in the fall, if be presented with that opportunity. <coughs> Mr. Kelly, I'll uh, ask the uh, question here. Uh, 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 I'm certainly have been out a time or two myself and uh, taken in your shows, and it's. Uh, Impressive number of people and great looking cars. You know, sure. and, uh, I must confess a certain amount of envy about all this. Uh, what are your thoughts about this, please? Uh, um, I don't mind exploring it, Mr. Mayor, members of council. What I would want to do is be fair to the other organizations that um, approach us with the same thing. We we charge um, basic, basically to cover our overhead in these things. We're not in it to make a profit, so we're just trying to cover the cost of the staff and the use of town equipment that has have, ha had to be put out for these events. Um, I'm happy to go back and look at what we've had over the course of the past year, see how much on average those charges have been, and then uh, present something back to the council at some point. Uh, at some early point in time to let you know, um, um, you know, what I think we could do, uh, if anything, to help accommodate this. I, I've been out for these things, too, and they're a great draw for the town, as, as are many of the other events that we have in town. And I'm, uh, they do a wonderful job with the car show. I do know that. And you've done well, you know, to get the letters of support from the merchants, you Thanks, know, sir. which is yeah. a group that's always uh, concerned about this. You know, uh, there, there there have been times when we uh, uh, have had concerns that we have closed streets and so forth, and it's uh, refreshing to uh, see some letters of support from, uh, uh, you know, some of those same folks asking us to close the street and, uh, you know, for an event. Uh, but I do understand what you're saying. We want to be a little, uh, be sure we're being fair uh, to everybody uh, uh, along the way here. But eight hundred dollars has been the uh, fee that we've quoted these folks so far. It's close I'm to. I'm assuming. I'm, I can't recall. Um, I guess that was last year. Yes. Sir. Yeah. So, so when you give us our report, you'll give us a comparison of what other groups pay, like Kiwanis Christmas Parade and Kiwanis Plum Alley Day, and et cetera. But are you all? I mean, you know. Are you willing to work with us as far as paying our staff for yes. closing the street and all that? Mm -hmm. You're just ask, asking for a reduction in the rate. Correct. That would be great. Mm -hmm. Like I said, we're a nonprofit and we're trying to get money gathered up for children 
or some something to help our community. And we'd be able to donate a lot more of the money that we raise if we could get at least a reduction. Okay. Mr. Kelly, do you think you could have uh, this on the February agenda? Uh, we, we, let's see, what month? We're in January. We're in January. <laughs> We're early January. Uh, I, would, I would say February, uh, March at the latest. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be traveling quite a bit this month, but I will do my best to get something together for you. If we could do it in uh, February, I think uh, council would be very appreciative, and uh, and you know uh, these folks would like to be able to make their plans. I notice we have several folks here tonight. If you're part of that group, would you uh, raise your hand? I'm just uh, stand up. Curious. Okay. Well so you're all, you know, you got a lot of folks that are very interested and supportive of uh, what you're doing, and uh, and again, we are appreciative and recognize very passionate it. Uh, about and yeah. what we do. Yeah. Chip, when did you put your flyers out last year for call for that for that show? It was rather late last year. Okay. We, didn't, we, didn't, we didn't put the flyers out for about uh, less than two months before, and right. that's what we're trying right. to do now is get it Get so prepared. We start hitting shows now and have right. Well, I, I understand because we do a car show too. That, that uh, I say we, the Fairview puts on a car show to, for as far as fundraiser down Latcher Field. Mm -hmm. What's your drop dead date on getting those out? Do you think? Well, I need mean, some uh, by the end of this month if we can go ahead and maybe set the date for, right. for the May 30th. Right. Then I go ahead and start setting flyers and then if you all would work with us on the fees then. I mean, we need to go ahead and start because we want to have a good crowd for the town. And as far as having every person that comes off the interstate to come in here, that much more money for every business. Mm -hmm. Well, looked like for two months you had a pretty good crowd. <laughs> well, uh, we were blessed with uh, good weather too. Yeah. And good weather. Yeah. And so May the 30th is not Memorial <laughs> Weekend; it's the weekend after. So they're not competing with mm -hmm. Palm Alley. Well, the other reason that we're trying to get uh, done as soon as possible, there's some of our group that goes to Charlotte and other places, and we're trying to spread the word as far as we can get it. And uh, there's a lot of car people out there that really like, are passionate, and they would like to come to our show. Well, we sure like them to, to be there. I, I would say that one, one of the things, and I think I've suggested this to maybe Chip before, is that when we have other events going on downtown that do require a street closure, I'm certainly willing to work with these folks to allow them to sort of piggyback on top of those mm -hmm. other <laughs> events that are going on because the more things that are happening at one time, the better off it is. And I think you all have done that maybe once or twice down there when we've had some things on Rimsburg and yes. what have you. So. We've been asked to come down to Rimsburg. Uh, show some cars off. Not very many, but just a few. All righty. So uh, we should. Uh, uh, we, I know. I think we could say on behalf of the council, we're anxious to. We're very interested in seeing this uh, happen on the 30th of May, and uh, we will. Uh, we want to act in fairness uh, and make sure we have a good, consistent uh, policy uh, worked out here, and uh, we should have this on the agenda in February. Okay, and one more question. Chip, do you, all, do you all charge an entry fee to the to the show? We charge $10 per car um, yeah. when it was downtown Main Street. Mm -hmm. And like I said, that's that's how we make um, our... That's just per car, and it's free to spectators. Right. 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 So your sole source of revenue to give away mm -hmm. is from the entry fee. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. And we have the expensive trophies, banners, uh, flyers, um, marketing material, uh, just I'm different things like it. that. And there's a lot of a lot of mm -hmm. money that goes into it. And we're not trying to make a mo uh, any money for ourselves. We're trying to make it for other people. Okay. So, so just to piggyback on the town manager's uh, suggestion, just as a point of interest for me, <coughs> when we have the um, Town music events. I, you, I heard you say one or two cars. Is that was that a limitation that the town put on the club, or was that something that the club just felt like they? The uh, Highlands Festival asked us to come down, and we we took like eight cars down for one one thing that they had there, and then there was another street co closure that we took like um, I think it was like eight cars 
six cars, something like that. There's really not a lot of space for cars and spectators. Mm -hmm. Our biggest fear is, um, you know, we're having all these nice cars. Um, there are some areas that allow people to have shows and they're allowing bicycles and people walking their dogs mm -hmm. and, you know, things that don't really mix with our old cars. cars. And yeah. we're trying to watch how much public walks by our cars um, and try to be a little bit more protective over them um, because if you don't have a protectiveness to it, um, there's a lot of people who will sense that and then we'll lose uh, spectators, we'll lose people bringing their cars yeah. because they are very passionate about them. Which is why you want to be on Main Street and yes, not Main Street Drive is because and of space. There is so much I, I get on a weekly um, you know, during car season, even out of car season, I've gotten people that will ask me, hey, when are we having uh, the show on Main Street again? Can we have a couple of times? Can we have it once a month? Can we have it? And I'm like, well, we can't have it once a month because it gets too expensive. Um, I said, maybe we can have it twice a year if the, if the town will allow it and if we can afford it. You had and 200 cars last we year? We had 201 cars last year. We could have gotten more. Um, I'd already prepared the uh, few more parking lots to be able to get more cars. We just didn't, we ran out of time how to much, get more. How many do you think you could get this year? I'm in hopes to seeing over 300, mm -hmm. if Why there's any there? way possible. But we have to get started now, and that's why we came to you early. And a lot of that's going to uh, depend on the weather as well. Exactly. Week. Yeah. And we'd also, if at all possible, like to maybe schedule a, a, rain, a rain date. Mm -hmm. A couple of weeks after that, if it were to rain on that day. Or maybe even the next weekend, mm -hmm. if that would be all possible. And the last question, and then I'll let you go, but um, again, so Plum Alley Days seems to be a, a great, big, huge event for the town of Abingdon. It is. Have you ever considered actually doing that on Plum Alley Day? There's no way. No way. There's no way. Um, the reason being, I've went around to the merchants uh, t last few days, and I've talked to them. I asked them the day or a few days after our show down there. Um, everybody was ecstatic over our show. Um, it buzzed for months, and it's still buzzing at times uh, about people talking about it. Um, if you've got to see any of the pictures, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah we read the letters. We, that's what we were looking at was the, the but, support that you had. Uh, Let's say let's pick the bone fire fire for just a second. Um, they uh, they did uh, X amount of dollars this weekend, and he was able to go back and check his records to see what weekends were his best during May, and that weekend of Plum Alley and ours almost matched. Right. And then the next weekend dropped way down. Right. The weekend before dropped way down. So. Uh, you know, it's it's their bread and butter. Um, the uh, pepper mill were, was another one that was about the same way. Um, Anthony's, you know, they sold out of their ice creams. Right. Um, the baby cakes, you know, they were ecstatic of having us being in town, uh, even though they're just right around the corner. Yeah. But we were closed almost to them. Yeah. As I asked that question, I realized that there would be more people than there would be seats at the restaurants. Well, even, even, even above that. Yeah, I realized it as I was asking it. Yeah, even over that, I would say that the chief would have a hard time trying to fill the police force that's going to be large enough to try to cover all those events and for that great amount of time. Exactly. I know he's, he's, already, or he's already spread thin now, so. Yes. Well, and we're always looking at weekends that, you know, the town is always looking at weekends that, that we don't really have that much activity. And so that might be another thing. You know, we have tourism reports that tell us when meals and lodging is down. Mm -hmm. And I understand that weather is a problem for, mm -hmm. for classic cars, but, you know, there are times in the, in, the, in the town's events that tourism is down here or there, and so that might be another good opportunity. While you're going on that, can I ask Kevin a question? Do you, uh, do, do you know offhand uh, whether or not that we have a music event scheduled on May the 30th? Uh, Saturdays are probably not. Not? Okay. Thursdays. Other Thursdays. Okay. Thanks. If you wanted to come by my office, I could give you a list of people that we approach for sponsorship for our events. 
I'd be glad to share that with you and uh, even reach out to them to ask if maybe they'd be interested in helping sponsor your events. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah. <laughs> it is in there. And one, well, one, one of the things, yeah, hit bonfire right off. Uh, one of the uh, one of the uh, uh, things that we do, and I know you all probably do too, is is that we get people like uh, the Chevrolet dealerships and stuff like that to write all our trophies. So I know the trophies are expensive, but you know they they handle all of those for us. So well, we're trying to to put our foot forward and try to run with the, with the ball, but we need help. And we, as you can hear, the results of last year. You know, we're very, very, very fortunate that we've got as far as we have. Looks like you gave away all your money except your fees, so, <laughs> yes. All right. Well, and I, I, our tourism department, I, they know that you're interested in, in working within the town and the mm -hmm. council's interested in working with mm -hmm. you. I think they'd be a good help to you. Do you think that the just possibility uh, I'm not sure exactly how it works but you know uh, some of your events that you all put in the in a magazine or whatever or in a flyer that maybe you could put us in there as a, yeah as uh, put you on the website for sure yeah. you know uh, again Mr. Costello and his staff uh, I think would be very keen to uh, support your efforts and uh, recognize that it could be a benefit to uh, a benefit to all parties and uh, uh, I would strongly encourage you to uh, you know work closely with him there may uh, in terms of spreading the word of what you're trying to do and perhaps, you know, offering some help on uh, how to make this, you know, uh, uh, financially uh, better, you know, for everybody involved. Uh, and uh, we're, we're happy. This is a good thing you've got. We're happy to support it. Thank you, sir. Well, and the last thing is Miss Susan Howard sitting right there in the ye in the yellow in the gray, <laughs> in the gray. I saw the yellow behind her shoulder in the gray uh, turtleneck is the main street coordinator and so she's she's probably a excellent resource she has lots Thank of money you. too yeah she's <laughs> well, I don't know she might need to help they can enter your business be involved stuff, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I, I don't know that she has lots of money, but by the same token, she's interested in making things happen in downtown Abington, and so we encourage you to talk with her. Good segue, Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Very good. Other questions, these folks? Thanks for coming. Thank you. And uh, we hope that we'll be able to uh, uh, be mutually supportive in your efforts, and, uh, you know, it, it, the good things you've done and we're happy to encourage it and uh, it's uh, very definitely something folks want to come out for. Thank you, sir. May I address the audience? Sure. I would like to thank all of our car club people that came tonight. My fire chief, my assistant fire chief. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I appreciate Mr. Uh, Tony uh, and so many more that I know here tonight. Thank you all very much for coming out and supporting us. Without you all, we, we don't have a, a prayer. All right. But thank you. Thank you. All right. Take care. Uh, be careful out there driving. Uh, All right. They can leave if they want. <laughs> okay. so, yeah. so we'll have an answer in February. All right. Okay, uh, Council, we have um, a couple of appointments. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mayor, can I interrupt for just a moment? Yes, ma'am. There was an issue that arose downstairs during the work session yeah. that yeah. we were going to address under matters not on the agenda, and I didn't want to go past that without. I think that'd be a smart item uh, right there. I apologize for interrupting. Okay, and. Uh, Okay, uh, Ms. Lowe, do you have a matter that's not on the agenda I do. to bring to our attention? Mr. Do has some surplus vehicles that he would like um, for us to um, declare as surplus. I believe those are classic cars. They are. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right, car yeah. house. Yeah. Crown Vegas. That's right. Uh, Listen up, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> and we got a deal for you. That's right. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Lowe, uh, Madam Board and members of Council. As we talked about in the work session, we have four vehicles that uh, uh, that we feel like have reached their useful life for the town of Abingdon. They uh, were retired police vehicles, and uh, they had been adopted by the departments for use for several years, but uh, it's reached a point where they, uh, the cost of maintenance is really more than we feel like the vehicles are worth. So. Uh, come before you tonight asking you to uh, consider declaring these vehicles as surplus. Okay, and glad to answer any questions. Um, 
uh, uh, we couldn't have had a more perfect segue here. Uh, the motion uh, that uh, you have brought to our attention, do we list the vehicles? Is that required, if, sir? If Mr. Dew would just state the four vehicles for the record, here, please. Here um, the four vehicles are a 1992 Crown Victoria, a 1999 Crown Victoria, 2001 Crown Victoria, and 2005 Crown Victoria. Okay. Very good. Okay. Uh, and again, we have a motion to declare these vehicles. As surplus and to um, authorize the town manager to advertise to choose the to, to either procure them with our service contractor or to go to sealed bids yes <laughs> what he said <laughs> uh, i couldn't have put it any better myself all right thank you all right again we have a motion to uh, declare uh, the four vehicles uh, outlined uh, as surplus property and to uh, uh, make them available through the appropriate um, agency is there a second I'll second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Uh, further discussion? Uh, hearing none, I'll ask our clerk to call the roll, please. Mrs. Deering? Aye. Mr. Howard? Aye. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Mrs. Lowe? Aye. Mayor Morgan? Aye. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, let's see. Um, other. Um, okay, we, we've gotten involved in the. In the um, in the car business here, and I have failed to ask if there was anyone else present tonight who wished to address the uh, uh, council on any other matter. Okay. I think somebody had a 1932 Dodge they were trying to sell, Mr. Well, that could, be, that could be a bargain out there. Okay. I uh, don't uh, hear anything uh, further. Council, uh, uh, we have um, several appointments for our consideration. There's. Uh, uh, appointments to the Tourism Advisory Committee uh, uh, from the bed and breakfast establishments in town to fill the uh, expired term of uh, Jim uh, Cowan, uh, who, uh, I'm going to lose my place here, excuse me, who's the owner of the Summerfield Inn and who's not eligible for reappointment. Uh, there's also an appointment to the uh, Fairview Homestead Committee. Uh, is this a matter that we can uh, handle here, or mm. does anyone yes, wish sir. to? Uh, okay, I'm not hearing a desire to go into executive session over this. Uh, I would entertain uh, some, uh, council action on these two matters. Mr. Mayor, I move that we appoint Janice Cowan to the Tourism Advisory Committee, who is the wife and co-owner of the Summerfield Inn. And I believe they have uh, been in the bed and breakfast business for a very long time here. In and they've been very active at the Tourism Advisory Committee meetings and are... Uh, good representatives. Okay, we have a motion to uh, nominate uh, second. All right, and we have a motion and a second to nominate Janice Cowan to fill the uh, uh, position on the Tourism Advisory Commission. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, I'll ask our clerk to call the roll, please. Mrs. Deering? Aye. Mr. Howard? Aye. Mr. Humphreys? Aye. Mrs. Lowe? Aye. Aye. Mayor Morgan? Aye. Thank you. And then we have uh, the appointment of two members to fill the uh, regarding the Fairview uh, Committee to fill the expired terms of Vicki Hall and Lois Humphreys uh, who are not eligible for reappointment. Is there a uh, uh, proposed nomination for these positions? Yes, Mr. Mayor, I'd like to uh, move that we appoint um, Brenda Morrison and Emmett Yee uh, for those terms. Uh, both of them have submitted applications. Okay. All right, again, we have a motion uh, to nominate. Get a second. We have a motion and a second to nominate uh, Brenda Morrison and, uh, and uh, Emmett Yeary to fill uh, the two uh, vacancies on the Fairview Committee. Uh, is there any uh, other, uh, any further comments or questions? Hearing none, I'll ask our clerk to call the roll, please. Mrs. Steering? Aye. Mr. Howard? Aye. Mr. Humphreys? Aye. Mrs. Lowe? Aye. Mayor Morgan? Aye. Okay, and that brings us to council member reports. Uh, Mr. Humphreys, do you have anything that you wish to report to the group tonight? Uh, no, Mr. Mayor, I do not. Okay. Uh, Vice Mayor Lowe. It's been an active day. We have uh, lots of economic development things going on at the incubator, and the business challenge kicks off February the 3rd. Um, anybody that is interested in starting a business or expanding a business, please go to the Washington County Chamber of Commerce uh, website and get your application in. You stand to win $5,000 in matching money. Very good. Mr. Howard. Well, we don't have anything tonight. 
Ms. Dury? No, thank you. Well, and I, okay, and to you too. And um, actually, I don't think that I have anything further um, to report uh, this evening. And uh, Mr. Kelly, uh, Ms. Rosenbaum, do you all have anything? Ms. Eisenhower? Okay, we're a pretty agreeable bunch this evening. Um, I will note that January is going to be a very busy month around uh, the town of Abingdon. Uh, the second round of uh, our January jams will be uh, uh, getting underway uh, the 9th of uh, January. We have Bill Andrews and uh, uh, or Jill Andrews and Don Fleming. <laughs> That's Bill's wife. All right. All right. Make make fun of a of a. Oh, of an old blind man, okay? <laughs> All right, uh, and then on the, um, uh, come up here, Mr. Costello. <laughs> uh, why don't you tell us about those January jams, and you know, uh, Miss Gibson's here, and she'll put in a nice plug in the Bristol Herald Courier. <laughs> so uh, Fridays and Saturdays, uh, starting this Friday, it's Jill Andrews uh, and Dom Flemings. Dom Flemings played with the Carolina Chocolate Drops. That's Friday night. Saturday, Dave Bromberg, who's a very famous 60s performer, performed with the, uh, the Bob Dylan. So he's written many of Bob Dylan's songs, actually. So he's performing with Scott Miller, who's uh, pretty famous in these parts. He's out of Stan, I think he's from Stanton. Uh, he played this summer for us. That should be a good show. <clears throat> following weekend, uh, following Friday, Saturday, uh, Heritage Blues Orchestra, which is a Grammy Awards winning blues uh, performance group, and then the Blind Boys of Alabama, and they're also Grammy Award winning artists. And they're in their late 70s, so you should see them now because I'm not sure they'll be back. <laughs> Hopefully they will, but. <laughs> Right. Don't tell us that. Please don't. <laughs> and then the last weekend, now I'm going to draw a blank. Uh, we have uh, Ben Soleil, uh, who is a cellist but plays like contemporary rock and roll. And uh, Green's, Green's, Green's Bad Bluegrass, which is a jam band. And then the following Thursday, Mavis Staples, who is the last of the Staples sisters. Uh, she's a Grammy Award winning artist, and that will be a great performance. And that's a Thursday, so that's not one of the Friday or Saturdays, but that's the last show of the season. So good line. All of Harder Theater. It, it, sure, it surely is. And uh, uh, other good events will be happening at Hartwood along uh, the way uh, uh, with their Crooked Road events. We we'll know we have the Chamber of Commerce Annual Awards uh, luncheon on the 14th of uh, January. Our offices will be closed for Lee Jackson Day on the 16th. <laughs> And on uh, January the 19th for Martin Luther uh, King Jr. Day, uh, there is an annual uh, Martin Luther King Memorial uh, celebration uh, that is held, I believe, it, uh, the Saturday that? before. Yeah, the Saturday before. Will that be around the 15th uh, of, uh, I don't know the exact date, but it is the Saturday before. It will be the 17th. Okay. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, it's been a fun uh, memorial celebration that they've had uh, for a number of years there. Charles Wesley Church. Yep, mm -hmm. Charles Wesley uh, Church made it, I uh, believe, one or two o'clock. And um, check your crystal for you. All right. Uh, council work session uh, and regular meeting will be on February uh, the second, and our council, uh, many of us, will be attending the uh, 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 the Virginia. Uh, Municipal League Legislative Day in Richmond on the 27th through the uh, uh, 29th. And uh, that ought to be enough to keep anybody busy right Except there. Except I forgot to tell you one thing. That 66th Annual Avenue and Rotary Frolics right. is going to be February the 7th and 8th. Right. And um, Miss Howard is a new member of the Rotary Club and Mr. Matthew Johnson is a new member of the Rotary Club, and they will be performing for you this year. I bet they've got tickets for sale. They have tickets for sale. All That's right. right. Very good. <laughs> All right. Well, Council, anything else we need to discuss this evening? Uh, thank you. Thank we adjourn. All right. Thank you very much. We appreciate that. And again, 2015 is going to be a big year in the town of Abbeville. Thank you for coming out tonight. I need